This is the Alpaca 1700 Road Trip Adventure Rack. It is set up with four spacers on each strap. Notice one spacer was slid onto a pin during setup. This was necessary to prevent the bike frame from touching the rack at this location. Notice as the bikes are loaded, the spacers are used to locate the bikes in the desired position on the pins so they do not touch one another. The first bike I will load on the rack is this Sun Spider. It is the biggest, heaviest bike. After the bike is loaded, the strap needs to go around the tire or frame and the desired number of spacers slid over the pin and tight against the bike. In this situation, the strap needs to run between the plastic chain guard and the frame if we want to carry the bike in this position on the pins. There are other positions with less obstacles for easier cinching, but using this position, the bike is very secure. Slide two spacers onto the pin for the next bike. The strap for this other pin is run around the front tire. There are less obstacles to deal with here. Slide one spacer onto the pin and tie it against the bike tire. The first time a group of bikes are loaded, you may want to experiment to find what works best. The next bike I will load is this Hollandia bike. There are several positions this bike will carry on the rack. The position chosen and bike width will determine the number of bikes that fit on the rack. For maximum capacity, rings can be used in place of spacers. The position I like best for the bike is the frame behind the seat post resting on one pin and the front tire rim and fork resting on the other pin. The bike is very stable and nothing interferes with the other bikes. Run the strap over the frame. I will slide two spacers onto the pin for the next bike. To cinch the front tire on this bike, I am going to choose to run the strap through the spokes and around the front fork. Make sure the strap does not put pressure on the spoke. Put one spacer on the pin and slide it against the front fork. This will hold the front tire nice and straight on the rack. The last bike is a Trek with a carbon fiber frame. The position I prefer for this bike is a steel frame at this location for the back tire and the front tire rim and fork resting on the other pin. I need to look out for the computer sensor. To cinch the rear tire, I am again going through the spokes with the strap, making sure the strap doesn't put pressure on any spokes. Because of the angle of the bike frame, I go around the pin with the strap instead of using a ring. Then the strap needs to run back to the other end of the pin. The ring is slid over the end of the pin and the strap pulled tight. Give the top strap an extra pull to eliminate any slack in the strap and retighten. I will use a spacer against the front tire of this bike. Run the strap through to the back of the pin, slide the ring over the end of the pin and pull the strap tight. Give the top strap an extra pull to eliminate any slack in the strap and retighten. The straps must be tight enough so the rings or spacers cannot slide off the end of the pin. For this video, my friend from Bikes by Bob borrowed me bikes that are very difficult to carry. He did not know of any other rack that could carry this combination of bikes. 
I took the time to load these bikes so there is no movement and no part of any bike touches any other bike. Limit the load to 175 pounds. For maximum capacity, rings can be used in place of spacers. Mount the first bike with the chain drive toward the vehicle, then alternate directions. For most bicycles, one pin carries the bike on the back tire rim and the other pin carries it on the frame behind the front tire, allowing the handlebars to turn for loading. The pedals and handlebars are the biggest obstacles. Do what works best with your bikes.